Banks, what are they good for? We trust them with our money. They have huge power. But do they really have our interests at heart? Banks sit at the heart of our economy and enjoy billions of pounds worth of public subsidies every year. But right now, with spiralling inequality, unaffordable homes and a climate crisis, banks are a big part of the problem. Banks aren't just a place to store our money. They create it too. When they give out loans, the bank doesn't hand over thousands of pounds in banknotes. It creates a deposit the size of the loan out of thin air. That's where most of our money comes from. Instead of using this power to support businesses and create jobs, banks lend most new money into the property and financial markets where they get the highest return for themselves. But with so much money flowing into the property market, house prices go up and up. And because most property and financial wealth is owned by the rich, inequality keeps on rising. Meanwhile, banks do little to support investment in the useful parts of the economy, like small businesses or manufacturing. The City of London is booming, while many parts of our country are struggling. Big banks also do a bad job of providing the basic banking services ordinary people need. We've seen 3,000 bank branch closures in the last three years alone. And they've lobbied to slash the amount they pay for cash machines, which are now closing at a record rate. Having access to money and banking services is fundamental to everyday life, like having access to water or electricity. Without them, life is much harder. It's clear that this banking model is broken, because banks aren't serving ordinary people and society's needs. Instead, we're serving them. Positive Money believes it doesn't have to be this way. Our research shows the government needs to break up some of the big reckless banks that are beyond repair. We need new banks with a mandate to invest in small businesses and the green economy. And people's access to cash and to basic money and banking services must be protected. One solution could be a new public digital currency so that we don't have to rely on private banks to make electronic payments. And instead of pumping new money into financial markets and property, it should be spent on useful areas of the economy, like social housing and green infrastructure. These changes, amongst a few more, would help bring down inequality, make our economy more stable with fewer crises and less private debt, provide society with the things it needs, affordable homes, a green economy, reliable, well-paid jobs. Positive Money is a people-powered campaign organisation we do research, influence politicians and the media, and meet up locally to get the word out to our communities. Please help us create the changes to money and banking that our society so desperately needs. Please support Positive Money today. Follow us online. Join a local group. Become an ambassador.